everywhere I go, I see his face. I just really miss him. Spider-Man Far From Home swings into theaters on July 2nd, and the reviews are officially rolling in. Here's what the critics are saying about the latest movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The overarching theme of the reviews, which have been mostly positive, is that the movie isn't bad, but it just isn't as impressive as the other films we've seen Peter Parker in. The Hollywood Reporter's Todd McCarthy writes, Without a proper full-on villain, as well as an adequate substitute for Robert Downey Jr.'s late, oft-mentioned Tony Stark, this comes off as a less-than-glittering star. It pales even more when compared to Sony wildly imaginative animated feature of last year, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And The Guardian's Peter Bradshaw agrees, calling the film certainly nowhere near the envelope-pushingly surreal ambition of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse from last year. <laughs> But other critics lauded the film with rave reviews, like Polygon's Matt Patches, who writes, Spider-Man Far From Home is the perfect chaser to Avengers Endgame and the breeziest spectacle of the summer. And Matt Goldberg from Collider says, while some Marvel movies, such as Ant-Man and the Wasp, and to a lesser extent Thor Ragnarok are all about the jokes, Far From Home is admirably deft in how it can be completely irreverent one moment and wholeheartedly invested in Peter's journey the next. MJ, I am Spider-Man. No, of course I'm not. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Screen Rant's Molly Freeman summed it up like this. Overall, Spider-Man Far From Home is a blast, though it does take some time to really get going. For much more of what the critics are saying about Far From Home, head to THR.com. Until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.